Hi and thank you for joining me today. My name is Laura Mackey. I'm a UK independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I thought I'd share with you how I made my virtual afternoon tea favours. Um, they feature um, on my blog today so I thought I'd make a video sharing with you how I made those. They hold a Nescafe coffee caramel latte coffee sachet inside. Um, I've used the oh my word I had a mind blank blank can't think what the papers are called they're these pretty papers anyway while I just retrieve my little label in here to tell me what they're called they're called flowers for every season so they are six for six pack they're what I'm using today and I've chosen to use this one I'm also going to be using just jade cardstock <clears throat> um yeah, and I think that's everything we need. Right, so to make the treat envelope treat holder, you need a piece of cardstock. You need to trim it to 17.7 centimeters and trim it to 17.7 centimeters the other way, which is for um, those that like to work in inches, it's pretty much seven inches maybe a nat whisker under so that's cut to size and then on your envelope punch board you're going to line up the edge to 6.4 centimeters which is nigh on two and a half inches so line it up punch and score then you can forget about the measurements because you're going to turn around and you're going to line up this groove to the score line you've just made. So lining it up, punch and score. Turn again, punch and score. And lastly, punch and score. I'm done with the bone folder now then I'm just going to use the reverse punch on the back of the punch board just to round off the corners so just popping that in just to round those off so that's everything done with the envelope punch board then I'm going to use my bone folder just to crease all those lines of score lines I've just made. And the last one. Now, I laid my coffee sachet inside. Pop that over, over. And then I used just a little piece, tiny little piece, she says. stupid thing it's not to the edge just a tiny little piece of adhesive and then just to bring that round there we go oops tiniest little piece it didn't stick so that's your the main piece done and then to decorate it I used a piece of six by six car, uh, DSP, which I just cut in half at three centimeters. <clears throat> and then using the stamping seal again, join the two pieces together, making sure the pattern is the right way up. Then I'm just gonna fold that so you join is then going to be on the edge there. Bringing that round, just giving myself like that. And then I'm just going to use the bone folder there. Now you can trim the DSP up if you want. I didn't worry about trimming the DSP up um, just because I was trying to be speedy I think so I'm just lining that up and then folding round again 
and then I just laid it down just put in some stamping seal as you can see there and then way it's not very straight just bring in that round so then your join is underneath just my paper is very slightly twisted there very slightly you'll line it up neater than mine though i'm sure so that's the dsp way just trying to get that so it sits in the center there we go nicely then I'm going to add a sentiment. The sentiment I used is from the Fancy Phrases, and it's this one here, a little something just for you. And I'm going to ink that up in the Just Jade ink. Using Punch to punch that out. I'm just, when I'm lining up the sentiment, I'm just putting it further to the right to leave room there for me to hole punch. I'm going to use one of my handheld punches just to punch a hole in there and get that inkiness out of the way. And then I've just threaded the, this is just jade ribbon. So just threaded that through, wrapped it round making sure I'm giving myself enough to bow with. You missed it there. You see where I'm going with this, so don't you? Just tying that in a bow, and then I'm just gonna trim the ribbon one just lay that out I'm just going to trim that end as well because it's just gone a bit scraggly and there you have it really quick and simple little tree holder thank you for coming bye